In my little devotional for today, I like to talk about chariots of fire. These are angels of the second sphere. The story tells that the king of Aram was against Israel, so he formulated a plan to defeat them. To his surprise, all his plans were resulting in a fiasco, as Elisha the prophet will reveal it to the king of Israel beforehand. When King Aram got to know about Elisha, he sent his men to capture him. They camped near Elisha's place, and when Elisha's servant, Giazi, got out early morning, he was terrified seeing the army. However, Elisha composed him and prayed to God to open his eyes. When God opened his eyes, he was able to see God's army packed all around Elisha. Seeing this, Elisha's servant would have been comforted. In this present world, at times, we too get terrified of dreadful things that are happening around us. But we must always remember that God's army is with us, and without God's permission, nothing can happen to us. Let's read the scripture in 2 Kings 6.15. When the servant of the man of God got up, went out early the next morning, an army with horses and chariots had surrounded the city. Oh, my Lord, what shall we do? The servant asked. Don't be afraid, the prophet answered. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Elisha prayed, Open his eyes, Lord, so that he may see. Then the Lord opened the servant's eyes, and he looked and saw the hills full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. This is an amazing story. In the New Testament, we can read a parallel Bible verse in 1 John 4.4 that says, Little children, you are from God and have overcome them, for he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. He who is in the world refers to our enemy, the devil or Satan, and there's no doubt that Satan is strong and fierce. But God is much more powerful, and there are more angels with us than fallen angels. Through Jesus Christ, the Lord's mighty strength dwells in us and equips us to overcome the enemy. In this verse, the verb overcome is in perfect tense, meaning it speaks of a past finished victory and the present victory of being an overcomer. In other words, our victory over Satan is finished, complete, and continual. So rely on Jesus Christ who lives in you at all times. He will give you victory over every obstacle of the devil and that the world throw at you. Also, think about the vision of the chariots of fire. Elisha told his servant, don't be afraid. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. In God, you have an invisible majority working and fighting on your behalf. This was my daily devotional for today. Check for the full message, Angels in the Second Sphere, at the website passioncenter.org or the YouTube channel. God bless you.